Alright guys, computers, technology in general has evolved so much over the past couple of decades and years and even weeks and months and days, days guys, every day there's a new product coming out and you know, not everyone knows about it. So without further ado, let's start our topic for today. Alright guys, computers, okay, computers have so much stuff going on in them, you know, hardwares, processors, disks, all that stuff is working together to bring to you what you want to do for the price of a thousand dollars at the average weight point for a good computer. But wait, my Mac. So this Mac right over here is mid 2010. You know, it had a couple of issues with the hard drive. Um, it was making some growling noises, pretty slow, heated up quick. So what do I do for my computer? And so what I'm going to be talking about right now, does not only applies to my Mac, it applies to your tower, your all in one, your laptop and etc. So what did I do to my Mac to make it better? Number one, guys, I got rid of the hard drive, put in an SSD. So hard drive has a lot of moving components in them. However, the SSD is 20 times faster than the original hard drive because there are no more actual moving components in the SSD. And number two is flash storage. So I uh, basically, you know, flash storage is always faster. But number two, what I do, I got new RAM. So this Mac came equipped with four gigabytes of 1333 millihertz RAM. Again, four gigabytes compared to today is barely anything. Yes, company with an SSD, it could be good. But again, I need a lot of tasks. So what I'm putting in my Mac is since I have four slots, two occupied with two gigabytes of RAM, I'm making two more slots active with four gigabytes, making the whole RAM 12 gigabytes. So now 12 gigabytes running at 1333 millihertz under a whole price of $150 just to restore my Mac into good condition. However, after I plug that in, I'm gonna give it a new restore for the software. However, before that, do keep in mind, if you want all your data, make a time machine or iCloud backup so you don't, you don't just start fresh if you want. However, if you wanna start fresh, don't do all that, just simply yank out the old hard drive, put in the new SSD and you're good to go. However, um, you know, technology has evolved a lot over the past couple of years, you know, new tasks, 3D rendering, all this stuff has happened real quick. And like, you know, like old computers such as like 2007 to 2013 may not be compatible perfectly with it. But again, again, you gotta understand that your computers, especially your Macs are easy to expand. Apple has made it pretty easy to, you know, to just go under the Mac, unscrew a couple of screws, take out the plate and put in the RAM. So I guess, you know, these computers are made for expansion over the course of a couple of years, because you know, your technology is not always going to be keeping up. However, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and tear down the smack and see what's inside of it. So, oh yeah, guys, by the way, I'm not doing this repair. By no means am I doing this repair. Yeah, I'm helping out on this repair. I could do it if I wanted to, but I'd rather have my pro, my boy Stan come over, you know. Stan, thanks a lot for helping me out through this video and this process. So, big credits to him, not me, all right, guys? thing with these computers is uh, the bottleneck is the hard drive and a lot of times the memory itself so you could get a huge performance increase out of them which is replacing those components even though this thing is a solid five plus years old um, you know we could make it work very close to what the new ones are which is great which is great and not for a lot of money as you know G <laughs> suction cup, but we don't live in an ideal world. got in the caddy now as you can see in my video i did not get a caddy by caddy i made an adapter because your hard drive is definitely gonna be bigger than a solid state drive obviously you know <laughs>
are going to restore your Mac, you're going to notice that your fan may be hella loud. And that's because there's going to be another cable that's going to be left over while you're doing the repair. That's a temperature cable for the hard drive. Honestly, just leave it out on the side. It really doesn't matter. Uh, what you can do, however, is get like a SSD type of um, uh, software. I'm going to leave the link down below if you guys want to check that out. Again, this video is not responsible for any damage caused to your computer. And by the way, that program thing that I'm going to link in the description below, um, that's going to control your temperatures for the fan to actually go smooth like what's supposed to be by using smart protocol. Now, that smart protocol is something that's embedded with the motherboard. So I guess it's reliable. And you know, as far as I've been using it, it's pretty cool. So guys, there's five connectors. Make sure you put all five of them back, take them all five off at the same time and go from uh, shortest to the longest. So go from down to up. they should be able to do something for you too but other than that guys i'm done for my part and this has been the technical theory and if you are a new visitor to my channel hey welcome uh, i'm g i don't know if you know that or not but i like making technology videos i love technology myself so it would really mean a lot if you go ahead and like and share my channel and subscribe to my channel again it brings a lot of motivation for future videos and my current subscribers and current visitors guys thank you a lot for your motivation again every single day thank you and peace out guys